Hi guys, it's Mark Zickery, Mr. Sci-Fi, also known as Mark Zickery of Space Command. And I'm here at Comic-Con, and today they've set up a press junket for me, which means that I'm going to be interviewed by dozens of reporters from magazines, websites, you name it, uh, the TV channels, etc. And uh, so that's pretty fun, talking about Space Command, because our big panel is tonight, and I've been hobnobbing with my fellow wizards and all of that. But the fun part is, you know, I, I love talking to science fiction uh, media, because I grew up reading these magazines and learning uh, how to become a writer, producer, director from them. When I was a kid, there's a great magazine called Famous Monsters of Film Land Magazine, and it was, of course, uh, written and edited by the great Forrest J. Ackerman. And uh, I talked about all these movies, and he actually, for a short time, he did a companion magazine called Spaceman Magazine, which is about science fiction, and I would read that just voraciously, and they would always talk about these movies that were going to be coming out, The Demolished Man, uh, Childhood's End, all these movies that never got made. And then uh, when I was a teenager, a, movie, a magazine called Cine Fantastique came out, and again, that was much more detailed, much more into the specifics of making film. It was a great magazine. If you ever come across old issues, they've got stuff on Blade Runner and Wrath of Khan and all the great movies from the, the 70s and 80s. And, um, but now, of course, these things have proliferated. There's, there's science fiction magazines, science fiction uh, TV shows that, that focus on science fiction itself. There's, there's websites, blogs, you name it, podcasts, radio shows. And, uh, and I think all that's great because I think that, um, that the more we can find information on the background of science fiction movies and TV shows and books, I love all that stuff. I, I just inhale it. And I know uh, when Guillermo del Toro and I did the book together, you know, Guillermo was the same way, being in Guadalajara, you know, reading these things, trying to figure out, okay, how do you do special effects? How do you do monster makeup? How do you, how do you film these things? How do you create these universes? And now, of course, um, you know, it's so fun that we have our effects team here. We've got our actors here. In fact, Ethan McDowell, Captain Cameron of Space Command, is filming this even as we speak. And so, <laughs> so we, all, we all do double duty one way or another. But, um, but in a few minutes, I'll be talking to tons and tons of press. And uh, I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. And, um, and then we give out the new poster, show the new trailer. We're going to be showing that, sharing that with all of you very, very soon. And as I run into people at Comic-Con, I'll be talking about all things science fiction. Um, I mean, it's just so fascinating, even just walking through Comic-Con and seeing all the costumes and, and the T-shirts. And you can see what people are into, whether it's the Marvel Universe or Star Wars or Star Trek, new or old or middling. And, uh, you know, just it's so much fun. There's so many different universes and franchises. Uh, it's grown so exponentially from when... From, from when I was just starting out, there were only a few things. You were either into Star Trek and then Star Wars. You just you know, had very few universes to dive into. But now, you know, pick your poison. So this is, uh, again, Mark Zickery, Mr. Sci-Fi. If you'd like to talk about the magazines you grew up reading, the, the different science fiction interview shows you love or websites that you're into, please comment and blog and post and friend and like and definitely subscribe. And we'll see you next time very, very soon. Bye-bye.